colors that you should be seeing that index this year and what is unique about them in this category? Yes, uh, firstly, will it takes uh, happening after four years. This is a great opportunity for the machine to fraternity to showcase the developments post COVID and post pandemic. So, this is a perfect opportunity for us also a duty to showcase the new products that we have launched. And uh, the, the launch has been across different industry segments. So, I mean, we wanted to ensure that we have a product, a new launch for each industry segment. So, that is how we have gone about it. And uh, specifically, we have launched four or five new machines and also updated certain machines to stay relevant to current trends. Uh, we have uh, shafter link machines, which is um, on the automation range. Uh, we have uh, a low cost automation for pairing links. We have developed a specific machine for blade grindings for the energy sector. We have a very new revolutionary product by the name of Zebra, which is in line with the current and the future requirement of the customer. So basically keeping the keeping customer centricity in mind. All our products are developed, the new launches are developed with respect to increasing the productivity and the position of the components manufactured by the customer. Okay. So could you tell us more about Zebra and why have you named a machine which is used for CNC as Zebra? Yeah, uh, that's an interesting question and uh, something, you know, we, uh, machine tool industry, you know, has been on a conventional thought process. And we, we all have been naming machines with respect to the uh, dimensions or the specifications. And uh, that, that we, we wanted to get out of that mold, do something different and showcase it as a value-based machine. Uh, not as a specs based, uh, you know, uh, naming the machine and, you know, it, it, it's like, you know, having a vanilla ice cream and then topping it up with some, uh, so something like that. Uh, what we've done with Zebra is, you know, we know Zebra as, as a determined animal, as a dynamic animal. And that is how we relate the product to those characteristics. And we wanted to break out of the mold and do something different. And maybe Zebra could be the new apple in the machine tool industry. How is the sector geared up to be in line with the recent trends, especially the digitalization and uh, Industry 4.0 and smart manufacturing? And how is uh, Jyoti CNC prepared for this trend? Yeah, I mean, the buzzword is digitization. I mean, we, we talk everywhere, everybody's talking of digital revolution. We are seeing it in every walk of life. So this is imperative that everybody has to embrace digitalization and that's the way forward. With respect to the sector, machine tool sector, when we say, you know, uh, I mean, it's ultimately reflecting the manufacturing capability. And to increase that efficiency, productivity, as well as ensure that you get the right data to take the right decisions. And that is enabled by digitization. And within that digitization, Industry 4.0 would play a big role for the manufacturing industry as well as the machine industry. So this is uh, ultimately when we talk of digitization, how would it help? Ultimately, any decision that you take in business is based on data. Now, if you mine that data, will give you the analyze. Will you will be able to analyze the demand. After analyzing the demand, you will be able to deploy the resources, which will take you to your desired goals. So. That is the journey of digitization and Jyoti has prepared a roadmap in this respect. And uh, to address this, we have a 7th Sense a product which caters to specific industry 4.0 initiatives. And this would help our customers to increase their productivity. They will be able to increase their efficiency by analyzing the data that is available to them and take the right decisions, the corrective and preventive measures to ensure that they go up the value chain. Okay. 
So when it comes to machine tool industry, it's a very slow industry. So uh, what are the kind of uh, investment that Jyoti CNC do before R&D and for skill development? Uh, see, basically, uh, the capital good industry has to be constantly evolving itself. And uh, we, we are uh, always, we have a separate R&D division where we constantly upgrade our products we see the future trends and see how we can address them. So there is a dedicated pool of design engineers who work on constantly updating the product and seeing the industry trends. Like again, with respect to R&D, we can directly relate to Zebra. The, the whole concept of Zebra is very different from a conventional machine. Mm -hmm. uh, looking at the footprint of the machine, looking at the characteristics of the machine, looking at the need of the customer, wherein optimization of resources and getting the best result is a result of our R&D. So this is where duty is involved R&D on a regular basis and we also ensure that we have two or three new products coming up every year. So it, it, it's keeping up with the technology. We need to have R&D to stay relevant. And that is where GOD has been very active, having a specific design engineers who cater to the product segments specifically at each each milestone. So this is this is where what differentiates from us from the rest and how we upgrade our products on a regular basis. And uh, what about the skill development part? Uh, skill development is an ongoing process. I mean, what we do at GOT is that we have a, tra uh, a training session. We, we evaluate the training needs of, of our team on a regular basis. And the skills that are required are, we, uh, you know, we prepare a curriculum. We, we prepare a growth path. And on that basis, the relevant skills are imparted to our people at different departments. And that is how what we do is that they are able to upskill, reskill. It's like unlearning and relearning and then upskilling and reskilling. So ensuring that the productivity and that person is able to, you know, give his best and stay relevant to what the job that he's doing. That's how we do it. Okay. Uh, what's your view on the government initiatives such as PLI schemes, Make in India, Atul Nirbhar Bharat, and how has it helped the sector? Uh, the government initiatives have has been in line with, I mean, if we say, uh, making India a five trillion economy, having a GDP of eight to nine percent year on year, which would take it up to a five trillion economy. Now, to get to that, you need the manufacturing sector to grow to achieve that GDP growth and that has a rippling effect on the machine tool industry. So any manufacturing, I mean growth is going to happen from manufacturing and that is the reason government has implemented the PLI schemes for various industry segments, uh, the Atma Nirbhar Bharat campaign, the Make in India campaign. This is a direct reflection of the geopolitical situation currently in around the globe. You have China plus one which has also played a part in making the government realize the importance of manufacturing within the country and if we say India is best placed today amongst all the uh, maybe developing countries or the manufacturing capabilities which India can leverage to be a global manufacturing hub in the coming times. So uh, these are, I mean, these initiatives have a direct impact on the growth. So whatever these schemes are going to help the machine tool uh, fraternity, machine tool industry. And uh, if you see, machine tool industry is going to drive the manufacturing industry. I mean, the, otherwise, how is it going to be possible? Yeah. Secondly, the imports, the current imports in the machine tool industry is around to the tune of 50 percent mm -hmm. so we can we can save this if, if we have the opportunity to, to have certain incentives these schemes to help the indian manufacturing or the indian machine tool industry to scale up and take advantage of this opportunity mm -hmm.